What is up guys, welcome to Diving Garage. In today's quick video, I'm gonna be talking about how to install freeze plugs, core plugs, whatever these things are called. Let's dive in. All right, so this is our $500 budget build challenge. This is a 283 small block Chevy. And right now we're at the stage where we gotta put the core plugs in. Um, some people do this at different stages of the build. Honestly, as long as you get it done, it really doesn't matter. Uh, so a few things to note right off the bat, I like to use brass plugs. And then of course these come with some pipe plugs if you need them. And I like brass plugs because they don't rust. You know, if you put the steel one in there over time, uh, it'll start to rust out and then you got a leak. So I thought I'd just go with the brass kind of no matter what. And I like the, I guess, color scheme with the Chevy orange and then the brass plug. I think it looks pretty good. Now on the side of the block, you'll notice these big holes here. And this is where the core plugs go. And this is a coolant jacket drain. And then in the back, there are two more core plugs and one for the cam tunnel. On this build, this one was replaced and it was good. Uh, so I just left it. Helps you got two on that side, two on the other side, two in the front and then two in the back and then your, your main tunnel. Now in this front section here, these are the main oil galleys. And uh, if you want, you can tap these and use the included pipe plugs, but you don't have to. You can just put the regular push-in style plugs in. Uh, a lot of people will gripe about they can come on out, but honestly, it's fine if you just use the push-in style. So if you're afraid to get the tap out, it's all good. You can just keep using those. All right, now when you're choosing core plugs, what you wanna do, oh, it's upside down. What you want to do is go with at least a decent name brand. This is Pioneer. These are good. I've also used Dorman plugs. I've also used plugs from Summit and a couple others. Uh, but don't get the cheapest ones you can find on Amazon because the tolerances here really matter. And these have, these, these have an interference fit into the actual core on the block. So you want to make sure it squishes enough to seal, but you, want, you don't want it to be too small because then you'll get coolant leaking past that, kind of defeating the purpose of sealing it up in the first place. So let me go grab some tools and we'll get these installed. All right, so this is all you really need to get them installed. A socket, this is a one in a 16, in case you're curious. A nice medium weight hammer. And one optional thing, I'm gonna go on a bit of a tangent here real quick, is you can, if you want, you can put some Loctite around the perimeter to help seal any leaks. You know what, that's really not necessary. Uh, remember, this is an interference fit that will seal it, but if it makes you feel better, you can do this. And while we're here, let's talk about freeze plug, core plug. What's the difference? Well, all these are core plugs. People call them freeze plugs because they have a chance to actually pop out if you leave uh, straight water in the block and it freezes. You have a chance that this will pop out and save your block. That is not really the intended purpose. The intended purpose is to seal up that hole that was needed to be there for the casting process. Okay, anyway, so just a quick tip. Uh, if you want to do this, you can. Uh, I would say if you're running coolant all the time or you're in a race car, you know you're uh, constantly main maintaining draining fluids and all this and that, that's fine if you wanna do this, but really not necessary. Our insulation is pretty easy. Uh, get your core plug lined up. Sort of use your, use your eyeball guesstimator to get it decently flat. Get your, oh, mess it up, there we go. Try again, get it flat. And get your uh, socket in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out gentle as always. Take it out a little bit as you go along and check, see how straight it is. I'm a little higher on this side. It's okay if you just walk it in, take your time. There we go. That looks good. So once it's flush with the block, like the little lip is flush with the block, you're good to go. You're done. It's really not that hard. So let's get another one done so you can see it again. We go looks good all right guys like i said today's video was pretty short if you're into budget building or you're building your first engine you're trying to learn all the basics i'm doing a complete build series on this thing so check out the playlist i'll put a link in the description and that way you can learn as we go along here i'm pretty excited for this thing uh, next up we're putting the crankshaft in and then we're starting to get to the real fun we're gonna make a short block do the head work and all that stuff so guys i hope this video was helpful to you remember to get out there work hard keep building and dive in your next project catch you next time